Happy New Year. Hey, obviously it's a different kind of week. Do you, do you need to t tell your guys uh, anything about how to handle everything, uh, media, increased spotlight, or do you just kind of treat it as another week? No, we just, I mean, every week for us, I think for, you know, going back to when we were in three or five, has kind of been the same situation for us, but we haven't spent any time talking about how to deal with anything differently. They know, you know, last week's game, <coughs> we lose to Dallas, we go home. So it's the same exact situation we're in this week. Two more questions. The thing is, uh, you know, when you go look at a team that's won a Super Bowl a few years ago, has a lot of experienced playoff guys, you have a lot of first-year guys and rookies playing a role. Do you, do you buy into anything about inexperience versus experience? It depends on who wins. Right? So if you lose, you can say if, if we, we lose, lose, we're inexperienced. If we win, I mean, there'll be another story. So we're, we're concerned with how do we prepare to play a really good Saints team, and that's all we can really be concerned with. What did you see from those same guys before that, leading up to that Dallas game? Your, your rookies, your first-year guys? I thought they were great. I thought we had a really good week of prep. And, they played that way. Are you happy with um, the team's tempo on offense? And two, are you happy with the way the officials have been spotting the ball and getting um, you know the ball set for for your next play? It seemed like in the Cowboys game there were a few issues with that. Whatever, however they spot it is how we play. So I don't have again I don't control how they spot the ball when they put it down. We're ready to play. So. All right, it, it, and, and the first question, the team's tempo, are, are you, I mean, is that something you feel like it's improved? I remember even the first game. I think we can get better around. in every area. So it's just like asking me, are you happy with your tackling? I think we can be better at tackling. I think we're better at tempo. I think we're better at blocking. I think we're better at catching. We're better at everything. So I'm, we're never going to be happy. So. Did the boy get, how much did you know about him? Yeah. I mean, I've been asked that question a lot. I didn't know anything about the roster, so I didn't sit there and study rosters. I said it since day one. I took this job because of Mr. Lorry, and I didn't look at the roster, so I never looked and said, hey, I know about this guy, I know about that guy. I mean, there were some guys I were familiar with because I coached against them, but, you know, I didn't know anything about Brandon until I got So since April 1st, what did you learn about him? Just how hard he works in practice I and mean, kind of what you see on Sundays is what we see every day in practice. And, uh, you know, that's that, that's kind of what we preach around here is that you, you, don't, you don't rise to the occasion. You sink to your level of training, and he trains at a very high level every day he's out there, and, and that's evident to us as a staff, and then what you see on Sundays is what we see every day during the morning. Chuck, this team lost its first four home games, and now has won four in a row. Is there uh, anything different that you're doing, or is there a reason for that? Anything you can we played better in the last four than we did in the first That's simple. But we didn't change our schedule or how we approach it or anything like that. So. Well, Coach, you Coach, there's not a lot of teams and coaches that have turned around a four-win team from the year before and won the division. What do you think has made you and this team successful in year one? Well, I think there's a lot if you look at this just this season. Andy did it. Mike McCoy did it. You know, Ron Rivera did it. So, I mean, I would argue that there's four right there off the top of my head that happened this year. So, What, what about for you here, though? What I do you just think got here. So what did I see? It's like seeing guys that were excited about playing football when I met with them on April 1st. And when we're still playing on January 1st, they're still excited about playing football. And they've got an unbelievable work ethic. And... For most of the How different would this team be if you didn't have an offensive line that started all 16 games? Sure. <laughs> How important? I mean, think about the question. Every team would be like that. I don't care who you are. If you lose, if you lose three off starting offensive linemen, your team's going to be drastically different. Most team, most offense. coaches like to say, "Next man up." They don't make excuses. You got to keep playing. Um, I'm not making an excuse. I'm just you asked me is. I'm not saying you're making. And I just I'm said very. So, so can you talk a little bit about just, you know, what, what has it been that's, been that's helped this turn around so quickly? I think it's the players, and it's always the players. This, this game is it, it's, it's always personnel driven, it's always player driven. And, and we've got a, a bunch of guys that from the day I got here, and I didn't look at anything in the past, from the day I got here, I knew that they were motivated to be successful, and they work extremely hard. And they own up when they make mistakes, and they go out and correct those mistakes so that they don't happen again. So. I think everything that we've done this year as a team is a direct reflection on those players. What, what have you admired most about 